what is going on guys back here with another video i do apologize i did have a live stream that i uploaded last night but for some reason i can't find it i don't know where it is i don't know if it was something i said something i did but i didn't hear anything from youtube so i'm still trying to search for that on a computer and as soon as i find it i will upload it i do remember before i went to bed that it was saying processing video and it was taking a really, really long time. So I apologize, but I had some good stuff on there and I'm like, man, what? Is, why is YouTube doing this to me? Sorry, because now I have to hold the phone and it's going to be shaking. But anyways, we just kind of went over Monday Night Raw briefly, you know, with the retribution angle and Randy Orton and sh giving a shout out to Bruce Pritchard and Vince McMahon. On the whereabouts of Bo where is Bobby Roode? Didn't he get traded to Monday Night Raw with Dolph Ziggler? I thought that was the trade with AJ Styles. Possibly, am I right? Was it? Yeah. Oh, I, I guess they want us to forget about that though, because they have no plans for him. Dolph Ziggler got another token title shot. For no reason whatsoever, and he lost anyway, so that was all useless. That was just a buy Drew time to Randy Orton. Excuse me one second. Oh, and here's the other thing I mentioned. What's going to happen when Randy Orton does eventually win the title? Because he's pretty much taken out all the legends in his past. Ric Flair was a culmination of that, which we all knew that was coming, but... What's he going to do next, Triple H? I mean, that would make sense, I guess, but who wants to see that? You know, I am afraid that this may be the worst title reign of Randy Orton's career. Because they really have a limited staff. It's not going to be very good storytelling. I mean, Randy's awesome on the mic, but I just don't know who they have that they've even built up to challenge him. Other than Bobby Lashley, but we all know Lashley's not going to win. So it's kind of like, they're going to take it off Drew, put it on Randy, and then, what, are they going to wait for Lesnar and go through that shit again? Which I kind of hope not. I hope Brock stays away until there's fans in attendance, because it is kind of nice not seeing the same old shit with him. One second, I have a drink here. And also, too... But the whole retribution thing, how long is that going to last? They're only at the performance center. There's only so much stuff they can ruin. Eventually, it's going to get really worn down because you're going to see them on Monday. You're going to see them on Wednesday, excuse me. And then you're going to see them on Friday. That's three days a week. They'll be tearing shit up. So they've already broken the door with the cinder blocks. They already set stuff on fire. They've already messed with the sound equipment. What else is there possibly to do? I mean, we kind of already know who they are. We know they're NXT people. So it's like, <laughs> this company just doesn't have a clue. I didn't have a chance to check the raw rating yet. But I'm going to do that tonight while AEW is on. Finally, some real wrestling. Or a big show. Now, thankfully, we have no big show on Monday Night Raw, so that's already a plus. But the Raw Underground thing, I'm just kind of like, you know, now they're making the matches a little longer. I mean, it was cool showing for Shayna Baszler in the Hurt Business the week before. But it's kind of like, this isn't going to work. And then with the Retribution, you know, that's a little too close to the A and T I. F A. That was the reason why my video didn't uh, upload last night, and that's why I spelled it out. <laughs> but in any case, those are the major talking points. Oh, and now that I've hit over a thousand subscribers, we got to see uh, Asuka and Bailey once again. At 1.04k subscribers, that's about as many times as we've seen Asuka versus Bailey. Kudos, WWE. A lot, lot of creativity there. What else happened on the show? I don't even remember. I really don't. Oh, uh, Seth Rollins and Dominic. That was the other main 
talking point. That was brutal shit. I mean, I know it's it was fake and and all, but damn, they tore that kid up. And Seth Rollins is definitely playing his part very well, but even that's getting a little stale. You know, after this, what's next for him? You know, if they just keep playing him, just putting somebody on the shelf, every person he comes across, then there's going to be no one left for Rollins. So it's kind of like they don't realize, much like the White House trying to pass their stimulus check, they don't realize what's going to go through in the long run. You know, what's, they're going to run out of ideas soon. Because the Performance Center is only going to help out so much. I mean, it's good they have a home base, but this is, oh, they really need to go back to the fans. I can't wait because at least, you know, if they do go to a hot crowd, it'll at least keep us entertained. But this is WWE. I don't see any changes for them anytime soon. But I hope you guys like the hair. My girlfriend cut my hair. Finally got that cut. Now I just need to finish shaving this. But my uh, razor died, so I just left a goatee. <laughs> so, but oh, I want to let you guys know that my channel is now sponsored by Audible. AudibleTrial.com. You can get a free book for 30 days if you cancel within day one or day 30. That book is yours if you decide that Audible isn't for you. So I'm going to put that link down in the description so you guys know where to go, and I will get you guys all set up with that. Again, if you want to do not wrestling but other things, they have that on there for you, and also they're with Amazon, so you can also check out some other Amazon products. And we got a storm coming, so I'm going to get out of here before the Internet goes crazy. So please, if you can, guys, leave a like, comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel. All this will really help with the algorithm, with, with my channel, get out to YouTube, and hopefully the recommended section. No music today, just want to do a recap of what was discussed last night. I know I told you guys I was doing a live stream, and for some reason there's no live stream, so I got to figure that out. But in any case, I'll see you guys tonight for AEW Dynamite. No, I do not watch NXT. I used to, but AEW is my thing now. So until then... I will see you guys online, and then maybe we'll do an actual review for AEW. I'm going to see how good the show is, and then if I'm hyped about it, we'll do a full-on review. So until next time, I just wanted to get a video up. Maybe YouTube wanted me to personally actually do a video. So I just wanted to do that for you again. Remember, also, the channel is, again, sponsored by Audible. AudibleTrial.com. Get a free copy of your book for 30 days. And hope you guys enjoy that. They are sponsored with the channel with me for the next four months while I do the trial period. And then hopefully I can get an extension with that. So lots of good things happening on here. And then hopefully in the future, I can actually get an office, make this shit look cool and professional so you don't see the outside of my fucking door all the time. So until then, I'll see you guys tonight.